In this tutorial, we will begin our discussion about membrane systems. The uh, first uh, item that we will consider is uh, some of the terms that are used in uh, membrane separation systems. Uh, these terms are used uh, most commonly, so we should be familiar with them. Uh, the first term is feed. Feed is the liquid solution that needs to be concentrated. So we can draw a little diagram here, a block diagram for membrane separation system, and we have a feed going in to the system. The second term is uh, permeate. Permeate is the filtrate, or it's the liquid that passes through the membrane. Uh, so we can show that on this uh, diagram. And the third item is uh, retentate. Retentate is the concentrated liquid or the retained liquid in the membrane system. Now, the other term that we use quite often is uh, flux. Uh, flux is the rate of extraction of the permeate. And it is expressed as liters per square meter of the membrane area per hour. It's uh, L for liters divided by square meters divided by hours. The uh, last item that uh, we will be talking about in some of the other tutorials is uh, membrane fouling. Uh, membrane fouling refers to solids that uh, get deposited on the membrane surface and then they begin to impede the flow uh, through the membrane. Uh, so this is an important term that we will consider later. Now let's consider the four most commonly used membrane systems in the uh, food industry. The first one is microfiltration, uh, then ultrafiltration, nanofiltration, and reverse osmosis. These uh, systems are differentiated based on the membrane pore size. The smallest pore size is for reverse osmosis membranes ranging from 10 raised to power minus 4 to 10 raised to power minus 3 micrometers or microns. For nanofiltration membranes, the pore size varies from 10 raised to power minus 3 to 10 raised to power minus 2. For ultrafiltration, the pore size varies from 10 raised to power minus 2 to 10 raised to power minus 1. And microfiltration have the largest pore size, uh, ranging anywhere from 10 raised to power minus 1 to 10 uh, micrometers or microns. Also, the uh, pressure used in these uh, systems uh, varies. In microfiltration, we use fairly low pressures, around 1 bar. Ultrafiltration requires 1 to 10 bars, uh, nanofiltration 20 to 40 bars, and in reverse osmosis, we require very high pressures, around 30 to 60 bars. Now in this uh, animation, we see that these uh, membrane systems have a selective uh, separation uh, of the components uh, of the feed. Uh, so, for example, if you have something like milk that has got, uh, let's say, water, some minerals, lactose, proteins, fat, and uh, perhaps bacteria, that um, microfiltration, uh, which has got the uh, largest pore size, it will be able to separate bacteria and fat, which are fairly large size. Ultrafiltration will be able to separate not only bacteria and fat, but also proteins. Uh, nanofiltration uh, will be able to also separate lactose, which is a smaller size than proteins and bacteria and fat. And when it comes to uh, reverse osmosis, it allows only water to permeate through. It is able to separate all the other components, even the smallest molecules of salt, are uh, separated uh, by reverse osmosis. We will be uh, looking at some of these uh, systems in more detail in uh, some of the other tutorials.